Chronic leukemias. Chronic granulocytic leukemia or chronic myeloid leukemia is due to acquired mutation. Acquired mutation which results in uncontrolled proliferation of myeloid stem cells with replacement of normal hematopoietic elements decrease of the normal blood cells most patients are 50 plus minus 10 Philadelphia chromosome it is a characteristic chromosomal abnormality abnormal chromosome it is due to reciprocal translocation of genetic materials between chromosome 9 and the 22 part of 9 go to the 22 and part of 22 go 9 this is translocation translocation 9 22 Philadelphia chromosome this is karyogram chromosomal arrangements here we can see 46 chromosomes are arranged 20 pairs starting from 1 to 22 20 pairs are autosomes while XY is the six chromosomes XY in male and XX in female this is normal karyogram normal karyogram arrangement of the normal chromosomes in the normal cells each chromosome come from one from the mother and one from the father in our disease chronic myeloid leukemia there is a reciprocal translocation between chromosome 9 and chromosome 22 this is normal 9 this is normal 22 when a genetic mutation occurred started by chromosomal prick you can see the prick here and here and then transferring of the genetic material from 9 to 22 and transferring of the genetic material from 22 to 9 so it is a reciprocal translocation break point cluster region Epsilon leukemia. ABL gene from chromosome 9 go to the chromosome 22 and the BCR and diffused with the PCR gene on chromosome 22. So on the 22 we have a fusion gene. Fusion gene. Due to fusion of the APL gene. from chromosome 9 with BCR gene on chromosome 22 this is Philadelphia chromosome this is Philadelphia chromosome this is abnormal chromosome Philadelphia chromosome this is characteristic and diagnostic of the chronic myeloid leukemia it was discovered in Philadelphia and the name came from the, the city Philadelphia city and the karyogram we can see abnormal karyogram here abnormal karyogram you can see here this is abnormal line 
compare it with the normal you can see there is a difference in this part and also 22 you can compare between this abnormal and this normal you can see here this is a short this is a short one it's called Philadelphia Philadelphia chromosome 